We're not, though. You're up. You're up. Oh, I am? Yep. Why isn't it coming into video, too? I don't know. Maybe we changed that today. Maybe. Hey, guys. Welcome to The Wonderful Show. Uh, can you hear me out there in TV world? We're using new equipment. Yes. We are making the final steps into integrating all the new studio equipment. We're getting there. And, uh, yeah, I think we're, I mean, we're doing fine and everything uh, should be going. But I am going to ask uh, you, you, Anthony, to go and check on, just turn the volume up out there to make sure. Sure. Just because I want to make sure that all you lovely people at home can hear me and all the really, really important things I'm going to say tonight. Although we are only 50 seconds into the show and I'm feeling quite tired and uninterested. But we're going to have fun because Bobby will be there. Can you hear me at all? Yay, they can hear me. So the new mics are working. It's very cool. I'll show you. They're wireless now. So we just clip this onto our pack, put this on, and There's we can sacred. dance as freely as we'd like. That's true. And people can hear me now, even though... Yeah, and now I bet you can hear Anthony, even though he's not on stage and everything. Just cross in front of it, dude. <laughs> Anthony was going to try and really slyly... Like, and end up knocking <laughs> over the camera. Yeah, move the camera. Um, and so, uh, so, yeah, that looks good. We're all good. Wow, this actually looks really nice. I'm very happy about that. Are you getting excited for WinCam? What's this over here? It's a tree. No, I know, but there's like one leaf. There. Oh. There was like one, there was like one leaf that was just hanging there and it was all. Um, oh, and look, our picture isn't up. No. Um, that's the earth. Let's I see. recognize that. Yeah. I've see. seen that before. The Wonderful Show. Oh, look, look at that, man. We are so cool. Yeah. Um, so we got a logo. Welcome to The Wonderful Show. My name is Joe LaRocca. I am WinCam's media... Uh, That's my uh, job. Anthony's job. <laughs> You're so bad at that. I am bad at that. It is Anthony. Production manager. I'm the production manager. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, and uh, let's talk about some of the new updates here at WinCam. Well, let's Win do Cam some WinCam news. WinCam news. Yes. That's the sound, the song. The little song. Well, uh, I think we could start with some uh, wonderful show news Ooh. by saying that come 2012, we will be starting the second season of the wonderful show. That's um, true. If you it's are pretty following. Exciting. Actually... Tonight. Know. <laughs> this is why we should plan the show so that we're not <gasps> over. I remember we were going to say, I think tonight is, in fact, our 30th episode of The Wonderful Show. Though we've been on a year and we should pro technically have like 45 for being on for a full year almost. That's true. We but do more than, we did more than uh, like a network show, a, yeah. scripted, a scripted series. Yeah, that's not bad, dude. We yeah. also work here and do all this yeah. stuff. And the main point of it is I just... I mean, work. I don't know, man. There's 52 weeks in a year, and we did 30 episodes. It's not too bad. That's pretty good. And it hasn't been a calendar year. We didn't start in January. Yeah, we, we did. We, we did. did? The, yeah, the, like the first episode was like, it was a new year type thing. I oh, think. really? Yeah. Oh. I'm then positive of that. Because, never mind. Don't listen to me. <laughs> So, A, it's not bad. Also, I want to know that we let you guys know that if my brother did remember that we are on tonight, we, Bobby's will, thoughts? we will get some Bobby's yeah. thoughts eventually. Possibly. Well, Bobby, what do you think about the fact that it's our 30th episode? Yeah. Uh, he probably won't care about that. And no, if he, he it, we can later, we're going to be talking about the Golden Globes, and I feel like he'll also. I, know, I did just realize that I left those on my desk. Um, can you fix my shot? No. Um, <laughs> There's uh, no fixing that. <laughs> nope. And uh, so, yeah, uh, we are going to have the new wonderful show, which really isn't going to be all that different, though we are going to bring back the opening monologue to a degree. And we're, nice. and we're going to have little, uh, you know, when I go, did it, did it, did it, did it, win cam news. We're going to have those, <laughs> like a screen that comes up and does that. So it'll look more professional. <laughs> Um, other than that, though, we are going to keep it pretty loosey-goosey, you know, that's kind of the point yeah. of it. Our, our, our goal, I think, is to get somewhere in the middle of where we started and where we are now. Yeah, because, like, the first couple episodes that were really good, once we got it going, were pretty time-consuming. Like, we did nothing on those Fridays, except yeah. for, like, for, like, half the day. Except that was for back writing. when the show was on Friday. Yeah, you, if you remember. old-school fans yeah. will remember. And so, I mean... I think that, yeah, it, it becomes tough to maintain. It's, it's actually interesting. We've been watching some really old programs from the 80s 
uh, that Wincam did that Alan brought in just to show me that I've been transferred to DVDs and they used to do new channel 19 news news 19 it was called and uh, I was so impressed with the professionalism of it mm. then I found out from Alan that it took them that they did one a month and it took like yeah. well, hours I mean, and hours and hours to the point where after like a few year, like a year of it, they tried to do it live. They just started doing it live because mm -hmm. then it was done. You know, there was no yeah. post production. And the crazy, crazy thing that they had was like, um, like packages, like packages that they could just roll in. Of mm -hmm. like, so like if there was a fire in Winchester, they would just take the cameras and run out and capture yeah. it. Like yeah. they had people who had police scanners. I mean, it was that's like a what, different day. That's what Dan Sheridan wants us to do. Yeah, I mean, I personally would love that. Yeah, it's just. You know. I think it would be really cool if, if the, a little buzzer went off every mm. like a couple times a week, and it was like, yeah. you got to get down to Panadosi's Bakery. They right. made a they made a loaf of bread so big it took up the whole store. Yeah, <laughs> but I, that, I mean that's not what, that's not what we do. Oh, I understand that. Yeah, it, it, we're not a media outlet. <laughs> right. Oh wait, no, we're not a news <laughs> outlet. Well, we kind of are. Just mm. go to the internet. We yeah. can't be faster than the internet. No, not even, um, not even close. Well, the thing is, the truth is that in a few years, your TV and your computer will not will be one and the same. Mm. So uh, certainly, we'll all, we'll all be. I mean, surfing the internet. It's already it's already close enough. I mean, my t my TV runs off my computer 90% of the time. If I'm yeah. watching my TV, it's probably going off my computer. Right. I mean, I would use, like, smart TVs. Like, everything's going to be a smart TV. Just oh, a yeah. TV that has, I mean, I... Why wouldn't you yeah. make one of those? Why wouldn't you have a wireless internet TV if right. you can? I mean, everything in my place is wireless. <laughs> Which is pretty sweet. Except for my toaster. The you know what I really need to do is get one of those Xbox wireless things. For, like, 80 bucks, though. So. Oh, my goodness. Guess what? PlayStation 3. I know. Built-in wireless. Maybe you should yeah. just get a PlayStation 3. I kind of want to. Blu-ray? Yeah. I got it the high-def TV now. Blizzle nizzle. Uh, that's what they call it. Blizzle nizzle. What a, what a relaxing conversation we're having. I like this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're just talking. We're just shooting not, the ass. Not particularly <laughs> interesting, interesting to anyone else, but... Ah, but we're feeling People the don't know that I have an Xbox <laughs> or a TV. But now they do. Yeah. Now they um, do. I like the PlayStation 3 because it makes me feel like an adult when I play it, more so than an Xbox. Yeah, Xbox, they follow the like Wii route where they have like little like cartoony avatars. Yeah, and stuff. like I couldn't even bring myself to play a Wii. I would just want to punch myself in the face. Like sitting, if I were sitting home alone oh, yeah. and like, uh, I'm going to pop in a Wii game yeah, and like then hang myself. Recreational game, yeah, exactly. Like if everybody were, if there were like tons of people over my apartment, which isn't even possible. We don't. I don't have room to do any motion-based yeah, video true. games. <laughs> that's very true. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> because uh, uh, somebody I know just recently bought a 3D television and a PlayStation 3 with, with like motion, mm -hmm. the motion stuff, and it's so the motion is so lame. Yeah, yeah. All motion controlled things. It's, it's like pretty dude. stupid. They've been trying to do that exact same thing for like 20 years now. That exact same type of game. Really? Yeah. They had those like, it used to be like the circle that you put on your floor. Oh yeah. And I could like sense your motion. Those never work. No. And those that stuff never worked. No. But it was like I feel like like what video game peripheral has worked that's been like good and, and been like a game changer. Guitar Hero Guitar. That's mm, a big deal. That's true. Very true. Um, the Nintendo Light Gun. That was yeah, very that was accurate great. for what it was. Yeah. The Zapper, I believe it was called. Mm-hmm. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. No. You know, like, uh, like. For racing games, like the the wheels never it never, never works because it doesn't never respond fun. like a real wheel. Yeah, it was never fun. I had this is how spoiled I was. It's it's this combination of spoiledness and just being so into PlayStation. I had to like have everything that mm -hmm. came out for it. I had the dual analog flight control joystick. It was like two hundred bucks, yeah. literally. Yeah, and I used it like three times. There was there was a game there was a, like it was a, like unplayable. It had two it like a, you had to be like yeah. a pilot. To be there was like a really I forget what game it was, but it was like a mech game that yeah. like was really elaborate and then it used those. And oh, like, was that Mech Warrior two thousand? It might have been or three thousand. It might have been. And I saw I used to see like people would make like a mech suit that they would put on that would like help them in this game and someone and they would, they would just feel it's kind of cool. Yeah, they feel cool. like they're in a mech. Yeah. See, I remember another game I had that had a controller. 
that had a big flaw, but it was Time Crisis had the guns, mm. but to make them super accurate, they had a wire that went into the PlayStation and a wire that goes into the TV. So like, Whoa. like it was like another component yeah. cable, and that's like how it worked, and it was like super pinpoint accurate. Like it was that's crazy. That's sick. Yeah, but it was annoying because you had all these cables. Yeah. But uh, the bi the thing is that I didn't like holding it with two hands because you needed the button to. Was it the same one that is in the arcade yeah, game? Yeah, it's similar. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go. Ch -ch -ch -ch. But there was Which a is button. good because that I feel like ninety. I like that in the arcade. Ninety percent of the arcades, yeah. Just it, because I'm paying a buck, I want to. Like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but uh. True. The thing is that you had to push the button to duck and shoot off screen to reload, but yeah, you push the button to yeah, duck. Yeah. So I took a controller that I had previously smashed like that from losing a game into my TV, the base of my TV, and broken the side off so yeah. you couldn't use it, just a regular PlayStation controller. So I took it apart and I just put the X button on a piece of cardboard and taped it and made uh -huh. a foot pedal. Nice. And so I plugged that in a controller too. Foot pedal gun. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That was the worst 11 minutes of TV in terms of... Ever? Just in terms of like being meaningless nothingness. If Kevin was watching, he would have liked it. He would have liked it. Anybody yeah. who's into video games. Yeah. We're trying to skew younger. Um, so let's see 80. if there's any Windcam news. We did, we did W... There's huge Windcam news. Hit me Massive with some of it. Hit me with some of it. Whoa. Uh, think about it. <laughs> we have a third channel now. Oh my god, a third channel. Windcam. Here, Chris, grab that mic, set him up with it, and then we'll have him on. You gotta turn him on on the inside. He's well, yeah, just get, well, how many people are here? Just two. Perfect. So you gotta turn him on on the inside, and then we'll introduce him and bring him in. Earlier uh, today. And Dan, you're going to have to make that wide shot wider. So earlier today, it is official. Earlier today, WinCam launched with WinCam Education, which is on channel 22, Comcast, 38, Verizon. So we're nice and clean, 36, 37, 38. Two, two more, so it'll, it should fit that. You can move that chair in. And uh, chair a little closer. So we are now 36, 37, and 38. On Verizon. Which is beautiful. But on Comcast. And they're, and they're, yeah. Sadly, we Which are is, 8, 9, you and know, 22. It's funny because it doesn't even matter that we're three consecutive channels on Verizon because we're dead in the dead middle of the, of of the community access graveyard that is channels 20 to 45 on Verizon. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Yeah. But that's good. I want to be in a pool with our peers so I can be like, what up? I legitimately think, and I, you know, I scan those things every once in a while. Like whenever my mom has Verizon. Yeah. And whenever I'm home, I scan it. And I don't see anybody who comes close, honestly. We're, as far as programming goes. We're pretty darn good, dude. Yeah. In terms of our diversity and stuff. So we're also going to have like new message board, uh, like mm -hmm. our bulletin board is going to be revamped, so it's going to look better. M a lot of it, it's going to look better to you, but it's mainly on our end that it's going to be twice as easy. Uh, we don't really need to go into the details of that, but that was a big upgrade, yeah. major yeah. upgrade. We're getting better all the time. We're getting better all the time. Yep. We're going to sing the rest of it. Better, better, better. We kind of did that all right. That yeah. wasn't bad. Yeah. Uh, next time, I'll go lower because I feel like we yeah, doubled up. Yeah, because I we went high and you tried to go higher. <laughs> well, I knew I couldn't go lower. True. But, uh, anyway, the Beatles. <laughs> uh, shortly, right. we are going to be having on uh, some rock and roll musicians, and I cannot wait because we mm. don't have too much more to talk about. But that is coming up at, the, at uh, uh, in, we'll say, 7.15. <laughs> okay. <laughs> giving us a minute and 10 seconds to... Yeah introduce them to gab uh, to gab a little bit more so yeah. other wing cam news other than that other than I mean, we got three channels news. check it out what's uh, on what's starting, on educational right now start right now like i mean what is 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 playing on there oh well st actually starting in january of 2000 that's when the real programming starts no oh, no, okay. no no there's we're, we're we get a full schedule going but starting in january 2012 you will be able to see school committee meetings live whenever they're live we have the replays going on there now on We'll probably do a double up for a little bit, right? Just so people don't get confused. Yeah. Or for like, you know, or well, post the live, something. Well, the live is staying. We're going to have announcements, yeah. The live, yeah. Is sta the live feed is staying until January on yeah. 9, we're, we're, or 9.37, where it is. So what now. is the point of breaking up into three channels? Why, what, what is the idea of that? Well, I mean, you know, it's to better serve the WinCam community. Uh, you know, How does it serve them better? 
more. I'm not trying to grill you. You should know the answer to this. More content. We're splitting nah, up education. More content. What are you talking about? But <laughs> there's a one exactly one third more content. Oh yeah. Um, what about the naysayers who think that having two channels is too too many? <laughs> well, it doesn't change their lives at all. They well, they have to. You're right. Yeah. It's not like they added. It's not like they yeah. added a station in that they have to click through. Yeah, not it's not like, like they. It's not like we something. replaced ESPN or something. <laughs> they can still uh, go to other channels. This just in. Yeah, we're replacing CNN, <laughs> and ESPN, and yeah. all the ones that end in ends. We're all ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna have on some of the members of Ball and Chain. Anthony, please move to the far chair there. We'll go to me. Well, no, I want you to. I know. I'll come back in a second. Okay. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get that stuff. I, they can still hear me. Why oh yeah, you're so <laughs> you can mute it. There's a little switch on there that mutes. All right, so the camera's on me, so you guys can come on in and sit down. You won't, we won't see you walking in. You're all mic'd up. Yeah. Wonderful. So you just have seats in one and two here. Okay, welcome to the wonderful show, guys. I'm Joe LaRocca. You are Joe Black. Nice to meet you. You are? Matt Forsyth. Mor Pleasure. Matt Forsyth. You are the, you guys are in the band Ball and Chain. Yes, sir. Am I correct? Now, when we first looked at the album, we went, hey, that's not how you do Ball and Chain with the apostrophes. And then we realized it was. So we, it took us a little while. We had to go on the internet and all sorts yeah. of things. Because we didn't realize, see, never mind. It's Ball, apostrophe, N, apostrophe, Chain. We're placing the A and the D. That is how you start a rock and roll interview right there. So uh, <laughs> you guys have a new album, correct? Yes, I even brought you one. Oh my God, let's see it. Put it right up here so we can get a look at it. We got you right here, got you covered. Look at this, Ball and Chain, Sands of Time right here. So when is this released? Is it out? Oh yeah. And where did you record it, in locally? Uh, we recorded it Kissy Pig in Boston, uh, Studio 9B in Milford, and the Compound, which is our studio, in Rental. Okay, so it's it is all a very much a Massachusetts oh, yeah. collaborated oh, album. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys are you guys you know would you consider yourself a Mass like a like a New England band or are you Absolutely. just yeah and Boston you, boys Boston boys and when did you guys like how long has Ball and Chain been a thing? Is that what it's always been? I really have to tell you. <laughs> oh, is it? Do we need uh, scientific three notation? Three albums worth since the 80s. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not too bad. And, but you've always been under the moniker of Ball and Chain. Do you, have you guys yeah. played in other bands, I'm assuming? Oh, yeah, but Ball and Chain is that's Ball the main, and Chain. That's yeah. the main project. Yeah. Um, so do you guys have like shows coming up? You must have some gigs. Promoting the album? There's something in the wind about us doing some uh, L.A. Guns dates, but nothing's been locked down yet. What does that mean? What are L.A. Guns? The L.A. band, the L.A. The band LA Guns. That, uh, are they they're, LA suppo band? they're supposed to be coming around, and we had some of our people spoke with us and some uh, about us doing some shows with them, but nothing seems to have gotten solidified yet. Do you have a show tonight? No. 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 I, oh, that's, uh, at one point, Joe was going to have the Perry, the Perry brothers on, right? Sons of Joe Perry. Sons of oh, Joe Perry. Perry. A famed, a famed barbecue tycoon, Joe Perry. <laughs> um, yeah, last Christmas I got a jar of his barbecue sauce because my mom was like, you like music. And I was like, yeah, but This is I don't vaguely like music related. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Uh, it's hot. It's yeah, good. Yeah, The it's hot stuff, bad. the hot it's it's, it's not bad, but like why? Like do if is there like another field that you guys would like to market yourself in? Like do you think if you had to make some sort of like antillary product that like maybe you could make real balls and chains to sell or like uh, slap your face yeah, on for it. medieval stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, like you could be yeah, you could like you two could be your face could be on the ball. And, hmm. Is this a uh um <laughs> Is this uh, your, okay, sorry, I'm reading the back of it. So there are 10 tracks on here. Which one would, are you going to put on? What would, be the, what would be the big radio hit if you guys are the biggest band in America right now? Well, so far, the bit we've been really Do you have like a up. single? Is there like a? Well, we've gotten a lot of good response on the first one, Strokes. Mm -hmm. That one seems to be getting some good reviews and good airplay. That's great. From the UK. Australia, 
Texas, you know, some spots around the U.S. Have you guys toured internationally ever? Played like magic? Through, through years yeah. ago, but we're, we're ready again now. I know. That's... I want you guys to go to Australia because we got a band down there that's a fan of this show called Audio Scam. I don't know them or anything. I have their disc, yeah, the black sure. disc. Yeah. Good friends. Someone, friends. someone, dear, that, dear friends. someone dear else that friends. we know around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we usually. Can, yeah. I think you can connect the dots. There. <laughs> yeah, you can see how you can see who provides us with music. I like here. the first song. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah usually, that's the one. That's, that's the one we one. usually dance off on this show too, um, which happens in the last fifty seconds. You're not involved anymore. Uh, <laughs> don't have to. Be. Don't worry about it. Um, but that's. Uh, I like that because then it's like, it's funny to think that there's somebody on the other side of the planet, like enjoying what you do. I think that that's like pretty amazing to have pockets like that. Like, you know, like, like what is your connection to Texas? Like, why do you think it blew up there? Just because you have PR people there? We had there? some people down there, this uh, station that's called uh, Support Kick-Ass Music. They okay. did some reviews on us. And uh, this woman, they call her the Alley Cat. Uh -huh. She She's just, in. she dug the band and uh, pushed us down there. Good review of the record, good interview, you know, she did it, did me well. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's like basically how you got to do it, huh? If you're not like on a major label, you just got to make connections with people and... That's it. Definitely. I can't, why would you, I mean, I can't, why, I wouldn't want to be on a major label personally. Like, Aren't there like some really huge downsides to it? Like oh, you have yeah. no control and yeah. I mean like were you guys ever like toying with that? Were you ever like wanting to go that way? Or? Yeah, years ago we were on. Just because you wanted the page got right? picked up in a different fashion, but it was different in those years. You know, you, if you got an independent label, you know, and then you got picked up by a major. Mm -hmm. But today, I mean, it's still the same thing, but there's no PR money. Right. They don't want to spend any money. Yes, they want so you to do changed. all the work, right. and then they want to come in and take their cut, which is fine if you're going to put us on a major tour, mm -hmm. you right. know, like Kiss. Yeah. You know? Right. <laughs> if yes. you're going to do that for me, no problem. Right. Get your album in every store. Yeah. Get, us, even get us a deal. Yeah. Stores anymore? Yeah. 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 Get, get us a deal yeah. with Walmart. Really so, yeah, yeah. do you think, <laughs> so well, that, basically, what do you think has changed that? Is it, is it really, is it the internet? I mean, that the fact that you can do the PR that way more effectively than, yeah. than driving around like the Blues Brothers with a... Yeah, well, believe me, because he, Matt is, is big with, with uh, we both do it, but mm -hmm. Matt's real big with, it, with the marketing strategies or the, you know, the PR on, on, on you know, we have a couple of sites. We have uh, mm -hmm. the fan page right. and all that stuff. And he's always pushing those buttons. <laughs> yeah, and like in iTunes and stuff, like I can't imagine that must be so much greater than, you know, if you like, if you can access the like your group of fans. I mean, I think in the long run it'll probably work out better. Although it seems like you turn on the radio and you hear the same few, like you only hear syndicated radio. Yeah, regular like major radio. syndicated radio. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I mean, I'm not. I mean, I. I've worked in college radio and it's like, that's a, obviously a totally different thing. You have no, no requirements for like what you have to play. You know, we don't, we don't have to play Third Eye Blind like twice an hour or whatever. Yeah, right, right. But I mean, I, I mean, it just seems like there are songs that are stuck, that have been stuck on the radio for like 20 years, like the soft cells. Where's that, where Tainted Love can play on any channel, any time of the day. <laughs> and it's just Great like, it's like, I got Tainted Love. Yeah, I'll okay. give that. It's like an 80s channel. It's That's defensible, yeah. <laughs> hey, that could be a remake. Huh? Tainted radio. Love, do it. <laughs> Internet Voluntary radio's version. taken. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, what is your, yeah, yeah, yeah that's I'd a big like thing. I'd like to do some remakes maybe someday. You know, what's well, up to the boss? Yeah, <laughs> remakes. Re <laughs> you got to go way back. Oh, well, weren't we going to do Ball and Chain by uh, Janis Joplin, right? You were talking about that. Yeah, we. May that's as well, right? That's, that's in, a bad idea. That's that's in the that makes sense. Yeah. That's in the working. That's in the working. If you want to, if you want to do that, what do you have to do? If you want to, because you don't have to get, you have to get the, because I know there's like two forms of rights. There's the distribution rights, and then there's the actual songwriting rights. Right? Yeah, we just we get the you permission, the rights, permission mm -hmm. to uh, to record it, to do it. Well, wh what there's been talk of is, um, I forgot what the 
Cat's name is, but he was the original guitar player that played on that. Okay, and so, if you get it from him? Yeah, um, if we record it and then he gets to play a track on it, mm -hmm. it's I get it's it. it's a, it's one of those. Uh, everybody school, helps everybody. Everybody's yeah. working <laughs> together, but you know, it is. Uh, we just haven't gotten to it yet. We've been really busy with you know. I've had the boys in the rehearsal hall and uh, pushing the record. So. Yeah. And just in the rehearsal hall, we've been trying to hash the show out. Mm -hmm. So revamp some of the old stuff too. We did you know, did a couple of tracks last night. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. So you took did, the uh, tracks that you recorded back in the day, or as yeah, they say. first yeah. from the first two albums. Mm -hmm. um, what I'd like to do in this show is incorporate uh, some of the old stuff, like everybody does. Right. I mean, I, I don't want to just go out and play the new album. I, I want to play a couple off of the Red yeah, Album. The ones off, the fans. And, and a, yeah. And because, uh, you know, it's fun for him, it's fun for all of us, but I mean, it's, it's just, it's a different flavor, right. you know? So we can go to the mic and say, this is off of seeing Red Album, our right. first album, you know? You, you know what I mean? Yeah. We've been around a long time, so. Do you think, what do you think your major fan base is? Do you think it is a fan base that you established in the 80s, or do you think it's... Do you think it's just been like progressive thing, just like by playing shows and stuff, or do you think that you know, like, do you think that your core group of fans is that continued on through the years, or it's it's an interesting question. Who, um, who know? You'll only know when you we'll see how many know lighters when we, come up. When we this. come back, <laughs> one day at a time. Yeah, yeah. but it's interesting yeah. because this record, this particular record, we've had great response from people, you know, that are teeny boppers to. Mm -hmm. 70 year old people that yeah, you know, I have a 70 year old friend that called me up and said this record's out of this world <laughs> I love this record see that's what because it, it does have like an 80s like vibe to it I feel and unless with a 2000s and, twist yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. no no I'm, I'm not saying I'm not trying to date it anyways but there is like a like there's that kind of like vibe up, like behind the album with a which 70s I think, flair yeah uh, it's got like there's I think there's like a cross between um, some of the tracks off that, like ACDC, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, like, some of the 70s stuff mixed in with the 80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, Yeah, I mean, that, I, could, I could just see it like, the, in that way, it's like a, a buckshot in terms of being able to appeal to like a large group of people, I think, in a good way by having like kind of like all those different decades of sound, you know. I don't, I have not listened to the whole album. But is there, do you get, do you do any electronic stuff or is it all, do you keep it all? Uh, uh, basically we had, we used, utilized the horns this time. Mm -hmm. and um, were those, those were real horns or all synthetic? Keyboards. Synthetic, yeah. all keyboard. Um, but today's day and age, they're, they're so <laughs> unbelievable the samples that you can't tell the difference. Right, like what do you uh, feel about that? What do you, do you think that that's a good thing that, that like some, like a 14-year-old Asian kid could write like a rock and roll album in his bedroom by himself. That's All a good the power thing. Power to him. Good. Yeah. Okay. Good. I like to see people make it, make money and do good things. Sure. Because if there's it's, a, yeah, if it's good it's, music. Who cares? Yeah, right. right. And, I, and I feel that way too. Definitely. But there's yeah. been like I'm more involved in like the well, I shouldn't say I'm involved in the film world because that sounds way too. Something. You have a TV That's show. true. <laughs> I do? We're on film right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> is it on? But, uh, That's why I got my clothes on. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is on. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely Joe. Uh, well, yesterday, I'll tell that little anecdote. <laughs> we took, there's little cable ties that you, did, you tie together to, for all these cables, and we, I made it into a long whip by daisy chaining them all, and I had Anthony whip me across the lap as hard as he could. Well, he did it once, and it didn't really hurt, and I, so I said, do it absolutely as hard as you could. And it was insane, the amount of pain. And there were two, like, indents on my leg. So I, was, <laughs> I pulled my pants there, down. Yeah. Like, if there was a word written on the thing, you would have been able to yeah, read it. Yeah, it said made in much. China yeah. on both of my legs. <laughs> cable tie. And so I, I pulled my pants down to show, because they were too high. I couldn't get, my, I couldn't get it up <laughs> high enough. And uh, like a high school senior student like, what are you doing? Yeah, he's like, oh, can you guys tell me what, what's going on in here? And Anthony's like pointing at little red marks on my leg. Uh, but back to what I was saying, uh, the film thing though, is because there was a big changeover from using film to the whole digital thing. Now, obviously, 
it is digital and everybody's going to be making things digital. But there were a lot of people I know that were kind of like uppity in the film world saying, oh, well, you didn't really make a movie if you shot it on videotape or if you captured it some sort of digital way. It's not the same thing as film because there's this whole artistry to it. And I remember at first being like, I, I'd never even shot anything on film at that point. I was like 15. No. <laughs> yeah, you have to shoot on film. That's what makes it real art or whatever. And then as you grow up, you're like, wait, that would cost, I could have made, you know, you can make a movie for $20,000, you can make it for $1,000. And it could be basically now that, like you were saying, the technology is caught up. It's like, it's can't, tell the, difference. Thing. can't yeah. tell the difference. So. The bits is caught up, and it's a wonderful thing. Yeah. I, it took a long time for them to sell me on it, yeah. on, on digital recording. Mm -hmm. But we still do a little bit of, we still do um, analog with the drums and the mm -hmm. bass and some things, and then we bounce to digital. Take it that way. But I mean, you, the editing capabilities of digital today uh, just um, 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 amazing. I wonder what, see it would be interesting to go, if you could transport a band from, I guess that, that ends up happening with bands that last a really long time, but it would be interesting to see if like, if the Beatles were, oh, you could never do that. I, just or, pick, I mean, the Rolling Stones would be a better example. Yeah, because they're actually together. Yeah, they yeah, have spent not, that time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what they do now. Yeah, I wonder if they still, I wonder if it they must have made the switch. I bet they did. Oh, guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah. Guaranteed. Definitely. I mean, uh, Jag has been you know, at the mic, at, I mean, at the board yeah. for a long time. You know, he's got to be up on that. They've never been afraid of, of progressing, too. Yeah, you know? yeah. So they've never been ashamed of that. And, uh, I mean, that's, because uh, I, have you guys ever had an album writing experience like uh, Exile on Main Street, where you went to the south of France and <laughs> just got wasted every day and made a rock and roll album? No, things have changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Quite a while. You have like families and stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, bummer. I'm a grandfather. <laughs> yeah, I'm You're a grand grandfather. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. That's funny. No, yeah, she's a peach. <laughs> I'm not even in a relationship. Six months old. I'm screwed. Six uh, months old. Oh, that's wow. great. You can say hi to her. Yeah. <laughs> she'll like, Someday she'll, she'll <laughs> probably see this. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. Nobody sees this. This is the wonderful show. That's my, true. My brother hasn't even texted. My brother has a segment on this show. He's two years older where he, he texts in thoughts about what we're talking about. He's usually correcting us on being wrong. Yeah, because we usually bring up things about like the 1700s that isn't true. Yeah, because we're just talking. We don't really do any research <laughs> or anything. No, the truth is this is a popular show and we can't. Don't think. tell. <laughs> well, uh, let me see. You didn't go to the south of France and make an album like that. I just watched that documentary where they, the exile the Main Street thing, and that's why that was on the top of my mind. Um, it, are you already, so, do you, are you already gonna do, are you really thinking about a fourth album, or is it all third oh, album? No. Is it all like dead and... Is it a trilogy? Well... This is the third one, though. I know, this, but I'm, sorry, I'm oh, trying to help you out. I'm thinking of another one. I just had this conversation this morning, as a matter of fact, um, and Maddie and I discussed it last night is that they'll, I'll always make albums. Right. It's just a matter of this one seems to be getting received well. Mm -hmm. So you want to push it. <clears throat> so if this one gets received as well as I would like it to, yeah. for sure. And you get money doing, for the next for album. For sure, yeah. we're yeah. doing another ball and chain uh, album. Now we'll be hitting the south of France for that one. Yeah, yeah. that'll be good. That yeah, one, that 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 one will be. If it goes really yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from, from experience, though, when, when the guys, when you're recording and the guys are real comfortable and they're all screwed up, you don't get too much work. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. it was funny because I was watching this. I was week. like, wow, how did they do this? And then, and then I find out, like, at the end of the documentary, they're like, oh, then we got to, uh, back to L.A. and, like, put it all together. Yeah, and, like, yeah. made sense of it. I was yeah. like, yeah, okay. But I bet it's not. It turns a week into, like, six months. <laughs> yeah. Great, yeah. great. <laughs> That's okay. like uh, you know. There's plenty of time for that. How stuff. long would this? Do you? I mean, could you even put a time frame on this album, or was it done so piecemeal that you? This one? No, this album took forever. <laughs> if uh, well, what happened was uh, here, here goes the story. Yeah, it's all it. on my website. And, uh, and oh, give us that website. We can put it up. You can uh, www.joeblack.com. Right on easy. the back of that. Joeblack.com. Right. Yep. Um, you don't even need that on the screen, but do it. Joe Black. That one, this, there's this interview with me with Cy Montgomery mm -hmm. that tells the whole story. 
Um, you about can give us a paraphrase two, version. Two of the men, we, I, I lost, two, two men died along the way doing Jeez. this record. Um, we started this record right before the station fire. And then we lost a man in the station fire. Jeez. And uh, so then things went dead for a while, so to speak. And, uh, it's, and then uh, down the road, you know, we will, we will, down the road, the, my other partner, my other guitar player, had uh, brain aneurysm. So he wound up in a nursing home. Jesus. So yeah, a lot of things went on. This record took forever between finding Artie and then finding Matt and you know, just, and just to, you know, that's why in the center of that album it says perseverance. <laughs> well, that's a, a inspiring though, you know, to get, because like a lot of people give up when they get setbacks like that or they go, well, it wasn't meant to be or whatever and then well, I had Ended some serious setbacks, but these, these were men that were with me for 20 years. Yeah. So these they were, were guys that were like top notch, known guys that hard to replace. Right. So we, we pushed on. I got Artie came on board and. Uh, what does he play? Artie plays guitar. Okay. Matt plays guitar and Art plays guitar. And uh, so we just traipsed on. And then it just took a lot longer. Right, I can And uh, we just said, hey, we're going to finish this record at all costs. We stopped for a while. We just stopped in our tracks and assessed it. And then we went in some other studios. And then we decided, the hell with this. We're going to build our own. Yeah. And so Artie yeah. came to me and said he wanted to engineer the record. Mm -hmm. I said, OK, you know. I go. can argue better with you about the engineering than I do with some other engineer in another studio. <laughs> it might cost you less too if you're one of your band members who's also the engineer. Probably, you know, not as big of a, uh, you know. Yeah, Art engineered the, in, engineered the record. He's, uh, he's quite an engineer. He's, uh, he's uh, you know, he's, he's very I'm sure as you get, you know, like more, like the more years you put in the business, you become like a renaissance person, I bet, in some ways about if you spend a lot of time in the studio, but did he like, was he just been an engineer or? No, he's a, he's a just, mad guitar player, but, right. he's, but he's, he's a gearhead as we call him. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. He just likes gear. Yeah. So he likes all these toys and buttons. And, yeah, that's you know, like one of the main reasons yeah. I'm here. So he likes to go up in the there and like play, flashing lights, yeah. play with it and you know. Makes ball. it better. But it, yeah. but it, but it, you know, it's, it's, <clears throat> it works out that, uh, and he has some other friends. Um, we have other friends in the industry that are, um, that's their bag. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, jo Bob St. John yeah, mastered that name record. Yeah. And Bob St. John's, you know, Grammy winner. You know, he, he gets it. So we well, get What were the quotes for? Did he not get it? <laughs> no, he's, he's got it. He's, he's, uh, Do you know what he's won Grammys for? He does a lot of like Cuban music and stuff down Miami. Okay. So he's got a niche down there that a lot of the, the dance and salsa and all that stuff. But he coming up the ranks, he was an engineer in the studio when we were all young. And uh, he kind of never forgot us. That's so right. we wound up getting him to, to uh, master the record. Uh, so that helped. But he, what the connection wow. here is that him and Art are buddy buddies with all this gear, mm -hmm. you know, back and forth. Oh, you gotta try this, you gotta buy that. And so it worked out. <laughs> that is good. That is like, basically we have a guy here who comes in who is like a contract guy. And we're like, we wanna be able to do this. And he's like, you have to buy these two things. And we're like, excellent. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. And Dave gets excited because he's the boss because he gets to like build stuff. He likes to show. build stuff, yeah. Um, all right, guys, I think, uh, do you have anything else you'd like to say? Promote yourself in some way. What else? What else? Go to joeblack.com if you'd like. Don't say about buying your music, but I'm sure that there's links there, or you could just type in Ball and Chain, maybe. Maybe we're maybe it's on iTunes. I don't know. It's on all of them. Yeah, it's, we're on Facebook. Facebook. You know, the promo page, the fan page. So, yes, get it out there. You can there. get a iTunes, Wait, your <clears throat> iTunes uh, Amazon. You can buy them direct off my white website. No, you can't. You can get them for free, though. 
Wink. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> yeah, you okay. can listen to some free downloads on the website. You can get the free downloads. And for a donation of the price of the CD, you can mm -hmm. buy it. But, we're not <laughs> <laughs> but don't. I mean, you can't. I mean, mm, watch some for, legal watch, gray area there. Watch for a new video. Nowadays, oh, yes, and that's, really that's right. Uh, yeah. Do you think that we'll be... It's all, it's all Are in, you going to uh, allow your your uh, newest video to be touring. played on Windcam? Merchandise. Absolutely. Oh, so, yeah. that's great. So uh, in a few weeks, we'll, we'll even premiere it on the Wonderful Show. Oh yeah. How do you like that? That'd be great. As far and as we could have you call in or something, hours. Chris. What do you think? What do you think Let's the ETA go. is on that? Uh, couple couple weeks. Yeah, probably two weeks. Two we're gonna we're gonna play. We're gonna premiere the video nice. for uh, what's it for? Strokes. Strokes. On this show coming in 2012, I'm assuming, or maybe right before Christmas. Um, but I really want to thank you guys for being on the show and Very coming good. down and joining us. All right, Joe, thank you. It's nice pleasure. to meet you. And, and we're gonna, we're gonna get this. We're gonna, we're gonna I'll get you a disc this. too. Thanks. I got you. Promote this, thank you, Matt. Thank Very you nice to meet you. You can give your mics Excellent. to Chris. I like your tie as well, I didn't see that. <laughs> well, you know you're on TV, you gotta wear a tie. Um, uh, excellent. I that was great. We have to have, make sure we have a guest on every time come season two. Oh yeah. Or at least going to be a staple. Fifty percent of, of the time. We're going to be um, premiering music videos all the time. Well, season let's not two. let's not go nuts. Every episode we have Eminem, <laughs> Eminem's new video, second episode. Yes, not the rap artist Eminem, but no, the cartoon the cartoon Eminem's from Eminem's the commercials. Yeah. The girl one's going to be here. Ooh, she's oh god. She's spicy. She will melt yeah. in your hand. <laughs> yep. As well as in your mouth. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ball and Chain, Sands of Time. This is some good old rock and roll, down home rock and roll, like mm -hmm. the hardest kind in the goodest way. Uh, I hope they don't leave with our mics on. They're not going to leave with the mics on, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we just it's got a, those it's today. A, it's a new thing. We might forget, too. I'm not I know. We're going to be at home and we're still broadcasting. I'm going to be like <laughs> dropping a deuce. Am I singing? Oh. I can say dropping a deuce. Okay. Um, uh, I have, yeah, you know, during, you know, how we have a uh, crazy facts. Do you want to do this instead? I want to, can I just give you one or two of these All crazy right. facts? Okay. Um, and then we can get on. Uh, just something, this is for Robert Gotham if he's watching. J.R. Tolkien wrote the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy using only two fingers. Like uh, on a typewriter, apparently. And it, it was 1,200 pages and took him 14 years. Bobby's uh, right. thoughts? Hang on, Bobby's thoughts on that. What is a deuce, Bobby said. <laughs> it's a poop. <laughs> a deuce is number two. Um, uh, okay, and I had one other one that it seems amazing. Have you heard of the Greenland shark? Greenland? Yeah, the Greenland shark. The country Greenland. If this is a real shark. They have a shark. <laughs> oh, it's one shark? <laughs> the Greenland. I guess, actually, the way it's worded, there might not be more of them. But uh, it eats polar bears and reindeers. Wait. How? How? See, does it come out on the land? Greenland is one word. This whole, the whole fact is like blowing my mind, but they live 200 years. What? <laughs> you know Wait. what? I, this is once again. It also flies. <laughs> is it from, yeah, is it from hightimes.com or wherever? No, you it got is from crazyfacts.org. <laughs> it's an organization dedicated to crazy facts. All right, all right. I'll give you uh, that one. This one is, I can't even. This one, this is the one. This one concludes the fact that these are definitely a lie. A man ate an entire Cessna airplane over the course of two years. Okay, uh, let's... Uh, Whoa. Did those fall in an interesting way? I don't know. Okay. I can't see it either. All right, this is the important right. stuff. Yeah. As you guys We're gonna know... We're going to do just the... All right. Yeah, let's just, let's just uh, go down each category and talk about... We're going to talk about Golden Globes. They were the nominations as we usually get into them. Go up from the bottom. Yes, and we are going to talk about the nominations came out. I believe it's playing on, when is it? Usually in February, mid-February, February 15th or something. And uh, Ricky Gervais will be hosting once again. It says winners announced Sunday, January 15th. Is that the same thing as the... Sunday, January 15th. Yeah, yeah that's it. It's is probably that the January same thing 15th. as the show? Why wouldn't they just say the Golden yeah. Globes are on Sunday? Why would they say winners announced? Okay, well, uh, best original song. Let's just skip that. We'll start with yeah. best screenplay. These Ooh. are the nominees. Golden Globes. This is a sassy award. Uh, the Artist. The Wait, Descendants. isn't that a silent movie? But I'm... But <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, I get it, Joe. The Ides of March. Hmm. Midnight in really? Paris. Wow. And Moneyball. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. Wait. So we've got three of... <laughs> we have three Sorkin movies. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, no, no. Well, I don't think Moneyball no, can win... Sorkin, Woody, and George Clooney? Yeah. I don't think he wrote that, but... 
No. He did, actually. Clooney? He, well, he, him and two other dudes. Yeah. Who are the two other dudes? Bill Winmos and Grant Helslow. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Um, he, just took, he just took up two of our shots in that one movie. Bobby, Bobby thinks Moneyball all the way. No, no. Uh, I di- I, well, I think that Moneyball is... Moneyball go- has a chance. That was a very... If that movie was anything, it was a... If that movie was anything, it was a well-written movie. No, I agree, but it's, it's redundant. Was, uh, Didn't you win last year? Yes, he did. So That's it's true. a it's just That's a redundant true. movie. Well, you're mm-hmm. not going to give it to Woody Allen yet, although the, I haven't seen it yet. I love the movie. I love mm-hmm. Midnight in Paris, and I think it is a very well written movie. But I think the chances it could it could be like kind of a swan song because he's never going to make a movie as good as this mm-hmm. again. I wouldn't think so. You know, as good as I've heard this is. I mean, just his last like ten movies. There's only been a few like good ones, and this mm-hmm. is like a shining star. I also so. don't think Ides of March has a chance. Yeah, it just wasn't popular enough, no. and nobody and cares about it. And they're saving Clooney for. A different award we'll talk about in a minute. Yeah, I think it could go to the artist. It could, I, which I haven't seen. It could go to the Descendants, and it could go to Midnight Oh, Paris. you didn't say Descendants. That's on there. Yeah, I said oh. Descendants. You didn't. I said it second, but I think you were making your joke about the artist being silent. And oh yeah. I think the Descendants could win. Oh wait, yes, definitely. Yeah. I didn't hear that one. Okay, so, that makes mu- much more sense. So yes. we're tentatively putting our bids on that. Yes. Uh, what do you got? All right, uh, I'm gonna do best performance by an actress in a motion picture. Actress? Yeah. What type of motion picture? Motion. Oh. Drama. Sorry, drama. I've, that's stupid. No, they have drama and comedy. Oh, uh, that's stupid. No, it isn't stupid. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. Uh, it's pretty stupid. It's wicked stupid. Uh, Glenn Close in Albert Knobs. <laughs> that's not real. <laughs> uh, Viola Davis in The Help. <laughs> Rooney Mara in The Girl with the Clooney, The Dragon. The girl, what were you gonna say? The Girl with the Clooney tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> the girl with the Clooney tattoo. The girl with the dragon tattoo. Uh, Meryl Streep in The Iron Lady. And Tilda Swinton in We Need to Talk About Kevin. I've never heard of any of these except for... <laughs> but I will agree that we need to talk about we Kevin. We do. That movie is about wind cam. Tilda Swinton plays Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty accurate. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tilda Swinton. Would you like to see my ball bag? I'm pretty sure this is plagiarism. <laughs> what? Tilda Swinton. That's who Conan always does. Yeah, yeah but he looks like her. Okay. I, that's I have nothing to say about any of those. No, that's crazy. I, I haven't mean, heard any of these movies. It'll go to, to Rooney Mara just because. Yeah, probably. Or maybe it'll go to The Help because they want to. Yeah, The Help. Oh, give me a break with The Help. This year's Iron Lady time. is about Margaret Thatcher. It will be awesome. Maybe it will be awesome. No, that I hate when Meryl Streep does that. Like when she did, uh, what's her name, nah. a couple years ago? Yeah, Chef Boyardee or whatever. No. Oh, uh, she, Julia. Julia Louise Julia Childs. Julia Childs. She shouldn't do, she's bad in that. I, I don't think she's good when she is acting like Hello! that. Hello! Yeah. yeah, she is like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> she is like Mrs. Hello! <laughs> oh, Mrs. God. Doubtfire. I'm right. uh, going to go a little quicker, I think. <laughs> Uh, all right, best director for a motion Ooh. picture. Woody Allen for Midnight in Paris. George Clooney for Ides of March. Michael Hezazesavis for, for The Artist. Alexander Payne for The Descendants. And Martin Scorsese, I've never heard of him, mm. for Hugo. Oh, Hugo. Or Hugo. Sorch- Hugo. So- Who is that? So- Martin Sorchese. Sorchese? Sorchese? Hmm. Never, maybe, I mean, maybe the young guy will get something. Someday. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they like giving it to the new guy, so they'll probably give it to Scorsese or Allen. Just yeah. give it to, like, one of the new guys. Yeah, hasn't been one of the youngins. I literally could not tell you. I just need to see the artist, I think, because it's, like, yeah. so dominating that might in every be, category. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, all these categories are kind of the same, though. I'm surprised. I am surprised about Ides of March. Oh, that's kind of everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of strange. I didn't think that that was one of those. But, I mean, in terms of the movies I've seen, the best directed movie of those movies that I've seen is The Descendants. Mm-hmm. Just because the, I can't judge the acting in Hugo. Because it's all like, shmimily plim. Yeah. And it's all like, but well, that's kids. more, I mean, but that, that could kind of be, that seems like a directorly movie. It's, it is. It's grand in scale. It, it is, and there were tons and tons of amazing decisions and such. Mm-hmm. But I just think that. I think as that a he's, a, he's kind of a dark horse in that category. I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised to see him win that. I wouldn't be surprised either. Hmm. But the uh, but I think that what they'll do is they'll give it uh, best picture comedy. Oh no uh, no! I think best picture comedy will be Descendants. Probably no Descendants. no! It's neither of those are even there. What? Yeah, the okay. be- best picture musical or comedy is obvious. What's going to win that? Muppets. No, that's not here either. The what? artist. 
Oh. Obviously. Because that's like kind of a that's kind of a cheapy award anyway. That's like that's like one B. You know what I mean? <laughs> if drama is one A. Yeah. It's, okay. So they I think I, I I think that they like to do that. Who is nominated for? Let's just do best pictures. No, let's, well, just, well, let's just do actor. Okay, do let's go to right. actors. All right, so we got George Clooney, The Descendants. Mm -hmm. Leo for J. Edgar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fastbender for Shame. Boom! I love it. Wow. Uh, Gosling for Eyes of March. Boo. Uh, and Brad Pitt, Moneyball. Bobby is going to text me yeah, in about eight know. seconds saying Brad Pitt for Moneyball. Even though it's clearly Clune dogs. Yeah. Clunes gave the performance of his career. Brad Pitt does what he does every time. Yep. He ate a lot of stuff. No, and he even, I noticed in that movie, he kept some of his, his some of his, uh, uh, what? Dirtinisms? <laughs> no, Bobby some of his. Pit. Yeah, more like some of his. Uh, they should call that movie Money Pit, <laughs> with two T's. Some of his Tarantino ticks. Yeah. From when he was, what, what's that character's name? Uh, Bungalow Bill, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. No, what was this character's name? Drake Woody. No, it was uh, yeah. Hans Landa. What's the name of that movie? Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. You can't say that on TV. Um, all right, so we did musical. Co I think Colt Clooney is a lock for that. It's amazing, dude. Mm -hmm. It's so. We've been waiting for this. He specifically always keeps you at like an arm's length. For this length. specifically from Clooney for about a decade. It. Fifteen it years. It validates his existence to me. Not that I haven't. I like him, and I like him as a director, and I think he picks interesting, socially conscious movies, mm -hmm. which I'm really interested in. I think mm -hmm. that's very cool. He's a smart. Yeah. He's a smart he dude. He used his He's celebrity. He's incredibly good looking. He used his celebrity to. Advance, yeah. I think, in you know, non in non Bono esque ways, right? Just being like, here's a thing, and you he's know? just yeah, he's just he's like, the news has gotten really stupid in America. Here's a movie about when the news started and it had some meaning, mm. and it's not like I'm speaking, of course, of Good Night, yeah. Good Luck, right? And I think that I don't, I mean, that that's a great movie, and I've seen it like once, and I don't like sit down and watch that movie all the time, but that's like the perfect example of doing like social commentary in my mm -hmm. opinion to make a movie yeah here like, is a man here's how it used to be here's how it used to be yeah. what, when it had back, integrity back when men were doing this instead of <laughs> instead of smiles and teeth all right i'm gonna move on to best motion picture yeah. there is a wackadoo one in here can let's i try see, all right let's see what you want it's just them? wait it's best picture drama drama there is an. I know why it's there, and you're right, gonna know just give it to me. Why I don't know. There. I don't know. All right. Only Descendants. Have... Yeah, makes sense. The Help, which is not the one I was talking about. Yeah. Hugo, Ides of March. Yeah. Moneyball, and War Horse. Ooh, Spielberg. Yeah. Freaking, drop the golden bills on somebody yeah. there. <laughs> War Horse. Or War Horse. Seriously. War Boar. <laughs> That's what I'm calling that movie. The de yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. Who cares about that movie? Yeah. The help is definitely this year's side, whatever, blind side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, see, I wonder if we could queue up. Oh, you know what? We wait, should. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We can do this. No, I know. We could get another one. I'm opening this CD so Dan can put in the first track. All right. Dan. All right. I got a, I got a, moral, a moral question for you here, a moral dilemma. I'm, I'm going to go into a little bit of... Uh, this is a two-man race here, and I want to know what you say. All right, Dan, come here for a second. Real quick, put on track one, and you got to bring up the CD bringers. They're like 10 or something. They're labeled. And play track one, but, you know, I'll, I'll tell you when. All right. All right, go ahead. Best actor in a drama television series, Buscemi or Cranston? Buscemi. Cranston? Buscemi. You Cranston's won the past three. He won the first three seasons he won. Really? He's won three years in a row? Yeah, because he oh. beat out... Ham, all three and times. He beat out Ham. He beat out John Ham three times. If I believe I'm correct on that. I mean, I'm, I know he won for the yeah. first three. In that, in that. Wow, just, he's been beating Ham. He's Ham isn't even Ham. on this. Well, did they do a season this I year? I don't think they did a season. Yeah. Uh, wow, I'm surprised you maybe got, you jumped that so quickly though. It's not even a consideration in your mind. For me, no. I I think that. Well, Bobby said wrong. Well, what is it, Bob? Tell me. I thought maybe. All right, maybe Ham won last time. Cranston has won a bunch. Yeah. He didn't, no, he, the, he, him and Gandolfini never overlap. No. No. All right, wait, now we know. Uh, he beat Ham at the Emmys. Oh, it's at the oh, Emmys. That's that a different won. thing. That's a, I, I forgot that that was a different thing. Who cares? No. Uh, Golden Globes. All right, you can put the music on. We're going to dance off now. Golden Globes takes that. Put on the wide shot. Everybody. 
I don't think there's going to be enough time to do this. No, hopefully But we not. can get a few dance moves in. Maybe not. Just forget it. Well, no, it's okay. I'll just do the rest of the show from right here. It's okay, Dan. We have 10 seconds. So uh, I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching Visual Radio.